The Japanese introduced the Shinkansen in 1964. Over 50 years later, we still don't have high-speed rail in America. But that's changing with California high-speed rail currently under construction. We're going to ride the high-speed rail in Japan today, and we're going to see what it's like to experience the original high-speed rail, the Shinkansen. The first thing I'm noticing here, these are long trains. Oh my gosh, the train, like 14, 15, I don't, maybe even 20 cars, and it just goes back and forth all along the platform. It's huge, um, and it looks like space-age technology, like uh, NASA or something. We're in Osaka going to Kyoto. That usually takes about an hour. Normal train travel, 30 minutes, and those are fast Japanese trains. This high-speed rail will take us only 15 minutes to cover that same distance. And those benefits are compounded the longer you travel. So if we're talking travel times of three hours between Los Angeles and San Francisco and the California high-speed rail is complete. We're actually going to be going into the green car. That's the uh, business class on the train. And uh, let's check it out. Business class in the Shinkansen has these nice, wide, comfortable seats. I think there's a reading light built in here. <laughs> cool stuff. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to expect because this is my first high-speed rail train ride ever. When you're riding high-speed rail, it seems like the experience is very similar to that at as going to the airport. The only big difference I notice is you don't go through security, you don't really wait for a very long time. The experience on the train is very similar to being on a plane. Right on time. smooth acceleration you don't really feel it at all um, the trains can reach up to 220 miles an hour but as they speed up from zero it's not like you're riding a ride at Universal Studios or a Six Flags amusement park it's nice and really nice and smooth 